Gail coming to you from GailSalesHouses.com with today's overview of the Mississauga real estate market for March 2011. The communities that we're going to be focusing on in this report is Meadowvale, Lisgar, Church and Meadows, and Streetsville. You can always reach me at 905-812-8123 or www.GailSalesHouses.com. March saw the average sale price of a resale home in the GTA rise moderately from the end of February to $456,147, which is 4.9% increase from February 2010. You will notice how similar the chart is to last year's pattern of price modulation from month to month. 41% of all the homes sold in the first quarter of 2011 in the communities of Meadowvale, Lisgar, Church and Meadows, and Streetsville were detached homes. 18% semi-detached, 22% condo town homes, 8% freehold town homes, and condominium apartments represented 10% of the total number of sales in this area. Condominium town homes includes all portals which have become quite popular with builders of new homes. The average price of a detached home in this area was $565,354, which is 5.5% increase over February 2011 and 3.5% over March 2010. The average price for a semi-detached home was $412,963,000, which was 6.7% over March 2010. While the average price of a freehold town home was $382,366, which although was higher than February 2011, was lower than January 2011. January's prices rose significantly due to extreme low inventories between December and January 2011. Although townhomes inventory levels increased for March, the pent-up demand for townhomes resulted in still increased prices. Condominium townhomes average was 301,877 and is following the trend as seen from the graph. Prices should remain flat in April 2011 before trending up in May 2011. The average price for a condominium apartment was 214104 This category of homes remains the most affordable for a first-time home buyer. Prices will continue to rise, but not at the same pace as a townhome, semi, or detached home. So how is the market? Prices are still rising and will continue to rise as demand for housing increases while inventory levels continue to remain low. Will political insecurity flatten April sales? History has taught that in times of political insecurity, such as during a federal election, a percentage of buyers put their search for a new home on hold temporarily, resulting in fewer sales, less buying pressure, and flatter prices. And it seems that from a real estate perspective, it almost doesn't matter which political party comes out on top. The market goes back to normal almost immediately after the winner is announced. Only time will tell if this April will see history repeat itself. But for my money, I'd be willing to bet on it. And that may make April the best buying month this spring for buyers who are looking to make a move before summer ends. Lots of choice, not so much pressure. Thinking of moving? Give me a call. Gail Reeves Reed, www.gailsellshouses.com. We hope that you find this information very helpful. Looking forward to bringing you next month's report.